Hello and welcome back to Spiritfall. It's been a day or two since I played. So we are going to head right back into a run. Just pretty much immediately. And I want to take Zavaloon here. And we want to unlock the rest of the masts. So if you missed last episode, we had a really powerful run. And now we have a new thing that we can do. So, elites have... Let's just go through this super quick. Elites have unique modifiers, providing an assortment of different buffs. Shielded enemies receive reduced damage until their shields are broken. There's a 50% chance that Health Fountain will be inactive. Celestial exchange items cost 50% more dust. All health recovery items are less effective. There's a Fog of War. I'm fine with the Fog of War. Oh, all of these also increase enemy health, damage, and elite chance. But they will also grant me stray souls as a resource. And I want to figure out what the stray souls mean. So for now, we're just going to do Fog of War. Oh, select the first... Oh, man, I was just asking for this. Select the first divine beast. Okay, so we have the bow. What do we want with the bow? I really wanted to do a Yamphis run. Oh, it it costs me an ember to do that. I can also start with an enchantments and I can start with relics. Okay, that's really cool. This lets me really actually like do builds once I have everything unlocked, which I don't have everything unlocked yet. So, But once I do have everything unlocked, that'll be pretty nice to do builds. Of course, I asked for not fire, and they gave me fire. That's okay. We will do a... We've never won with fire, so... That was very graceful. Um, I'm gonna take these, because we have all the weapons unlocked at this point. Whenever I defeat a boss, you gain bonus dust based on your current total. It's basically, extra there. Um, I don't know any of the synergies for this guy. So let's go for the Luminous Gem. The main reason being that it, at the very least, will increase our attack damage. So we can do this, and now we have 50% increased attack damage for main attack, and we can take the lightning die. Because I don't think the other guy... Come on. I don't think uh, the stealth guy gives any status effects. And I'm thinking about do trying to do a status effect build here. I don't really get choices on what builds I'm going to be running. But I can try for things. We'll take the essence modifier and give us plenty of essence at the end of each one. Some more fire here. Flaming leap. Yourself in oh yeah, I actually really like that. When inflicting a stackable size effect, there's a chance to apply it to an additional stack. We definitely want that though. 10% damage, bolt, attack speed. We'll take the random. Launcher damage and elite damage. Pretty good. 
Uh, we do have enough money for something in here. Yeah. Uh, I don't really like Lightning Strike. It gets me killed. Well, Tate Launcher says that um, my launcher now does lightning damage, which the real reason we care about that is... Uh, oh, my thing was on cooldown. I tried to uh, shoot that thing yet at him. How does he just sit in the air like that fucking cheater? Okay, that's fine. Not only my first damage for the run, but also just like a really lame way to lose. Very nice. We'll take some dormant embers because we want more masks. Whenever you slay, whenever you slay enemies, they reward 10% more dust based on the amount of sas vets on them. That's a pretty good one for what I'm trying to do. Uh, we don't really need the healing. I'm gonna save my money. We're, as long as we survive this fight, we're gonna get some healing. Excuse me. Was not doing the best against her. Kind of struggling to juggle her with the bow. Kind of had a problem with, like, I was knocking her too far away for a lot of that. It's okay, we still got three essence out of that. Launcher charges faster, increase attack speed. Yeah, I'm just going to go for all of the attack speed stuff here. Um... Kellerman doesn't offer any sass effects, so we'll take Celesh out of lack of another option to take there. Oh, come on. Hey, additional duck. Dust. Dash Grace Flaming Burn. That's pretty good. Let's see. We can take Kellerman just because... He, even though he doesn't have any status effects, he does have some effects that are very useful. See if we can find one of his passives. Get bonus damage when hitting enemies right after they miss their attack. Enemies that overload up. Left. I actually think I'm gonna take the bolt. Because that's really nice. Especially for later levels. Okay, let's get some revenge here. I didn't I expect it to be literal whenever I said let's get revenge.
Jeez, um, that attack is kind of broken, huh? So they get infinite air dashes. Get out of my freaking arena. Okay. Yeah, I would like more attack if possible. Yep. I need the healing. <sighs> Hate to do it, but, uh, but I need it. Super well, and that, actually, I'm curious. We've only we've gotten seven perfect rooms, so that's nice. Whenever I get hit, gain dust. Probably not gonna try for that, but yeah, let's go for this. Those guys freaking heat sink you. Heat sink you. Um Sure, let's do one more slush. Ah, I stepped into it. Didn't expect that to come back around like that. Whew. Flaming leap, air jump. Take the air jump. We have a ton of money, though, so that's good. We can take the heal and then take, um, maybe lightning strike. Hmm, do we want Moonstar? I think crit chance might be better in this situation. I believe that there is a crit heal. This has been a great filter for our run, so let's see how this goes.
we really don't want this guy to be last because for current build, I think we would struggle against him. So he's down. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. I got juggled into a arrow shot. Okay. Well, let's try again. So we still need... Obviously need this guy's mask because I don't have anything from him, but we need Celeste's mask. Ooh, 5% more damage for each blessing. Nice. Then we have some of these to turn in. Um, hollow grounds heal more. Hollow grounds appear in the barrows. Celestial chance of ha have items at a 10% chance at a discount price. So, just have a chance at discounts. Sure. Let's try again with the bow. I think I'm going to try and keep to one weapon per episode. This is all about wave dashing. Fog of War doesn't super affect me, so I'm going to leave it on because I want to see what the souls give. I'm going to go with Lightning Bunny. They deal 5 damage to nearby... Oh, dash teleport. I was going to start reading what Electrify did because I think I misunderstood it. Uh, let's head towards Frost. every time we get the chance and frost it I don't think it is any faster but it feels faster to dash with this teleport plus I like teleporting characters Mewtwo is one of my favorites need more essence and that spirit blessing will be an increased rarity Gain bonus damage after you're hit or breaking enemy shield, and Launcher does Frost. Let's go for the Launcher Frost. We definitely want to get the attack and Launcher as soon as possible, like before first boss, if possible. reason I was just having a really hard time hitting that guy. I meant to take the scroll, not the combat room, but that's okay. Sweet spots to increase damage. We kind of have to take Kellum in here. sure there are other combos with bow that we could be learning and we probably should bolt does a howl deal bonus damage whenever they miss we can go ahead with that let's improve our launcher I teleported in the wrong direction. Have I ever mentioned that I hate grasshoppers? In this game. 
Not in general. I actually kind of like grasshoppers in general. But this game, grasshoppers suck. Okay. We know our kill strategies. Oh, this guy sucks, though. We got a good weapon for this, though. we go. That might have been flawless. I don't actually remember. Movement speed is kind of dangerous. Some of these bosses require some precise movements. Attack deals more damage and it cause wounded. Very nice. Go for some more ice. I don't think it is imagined. I think my dash is faster. Drop the scrolls. Okay, okay, okay. Ice shards. Frost inflicted by enemies hit by your launcher. Shoot ice shards. I think we're gonna take the that's cool. You can throw out a, like a little ice grenade now. Um, whenever you slay frost inflicted enemies, they deal damage and inflict frost in a small radius. Sure. And then we'll take the heal because we have been notoriously doing bad against this lady. I mean, we haven't lost to her yet, ever, I think. Bit, did pretty poorly, but she's at least dead. Oh, look how close we were to five. So incredibly close. Okay, let's see what we got. We got perfect launcher shoots the other direction. Fully charged launchers will, be, will always be perfect. Sweet spot. Uh, I don't really like any of these. We'll just save space for later upgrades, to be honest, because I wasn't a huge fan of any of those. We'll take the Luminous Gem to upgrade. Freaking heat sinking grenade boys. This guy's gonna be so rough. Okay. Um. 
Let's go for the Frost Radius. I actually really like that. Frost or Launcher, whenever they're frozen. Does some stuff. I like the increased rarity. And we're not doing super well, so we're not going to take the random. I think we're going to take this. I have my reasons for that. So, we have a shot coming up. And if we have enough money, we can make some choices at the shop. Because we know that our Nets Blessing has increased rarity. So now we can come here and be like, okay, well, we only got this choice. But it'll have increased rarity. Oh, hey, Synergy, Voltaire Shards. Your Ice Shards produce a chain of electricity between them. That's my first ever Synergy. Nice. And we can go ahead and upgrade something. Um, Wounded. 3% per stack to receive fertile damage from your... Oh, okay. I like Ice Shards, because we just did kind of upgrade it with that synergy. Oh, wow. That destroyed her. I was really surprised by that one. Uh, more ice shards. They're doing really well for me. Technically a heal because of the fact that that gave us Matt's HP. We're going to go to Mishaven here. And then I think, yeah, we're going to go to the, to the heal afterwards. Whenever you wall splat an enemy's flip of frost, they deal frost in your bite. Yeah, we'll do the... Continue down the frost build. And we wall splat plenty enough. Full HP. And we get one more shop. We don't have enough for anything, so... Man, even with the discount, we didn't have enough.
Oh my gosh, two HP. Ho ho ho. Those guys are really hard. This game is really hard. Okay. Launcher charges faster. We're gonna go for that and that. And then I think we meet we need to go for this as well. Yeah. I hate to fill up my thing already, but um I'm just I'm scared. That was an easy room. You do increase damage per nearby enemy inflicted with frost. If your blizzard bomb blows via timeout, I don't really do that that much, so we'll take cold pressure. Okay, I guess we're doing the hidden rift. Nice. Whew. This game takes maximum effort. I love it. to be honest. Need to remember that I have this lightning. There we go. It's weirdly hard to get that item. Enemies you slay in under five seconds give us your rewards. Don't care about that, but it does actually have secondary effects on it that are really nice. Hmm. I'm gonna take this because I can heal for 250. Frost now sacks up to five times, but only slows the enemy once. However, it can glaciate non-boss enemies when applied. Unable to move for three seconds, launches into a wall, instantly kills it. That's going to be very useful. Doesn't help us against bosses, but helps us against everything else. And just for some synergy here, where you're going to... We just got one of those instant kills. I see. Samus ran, would you say? any synergies with Celeste here? No synergies, but we do have epics. When enemies are inflicted with status effects, they also receive more damage. That's very good. I have multiple status effects. Uh, we'll take more dust.
very nice. I mean, I'm really good at clearing out these kinds of rooms now. Let's go for the upgrade gem. We're using our bomb a lot. Ooh, another launcher upgrade, though. It's really hard to pass up. So we definitely want the healing. We'll go for potentially damage. Actually, we can get both. Might as well. No speed, dangerous. Permanent stack of electrify seems okay. Okay, so we don't really know how to fight this guy properly. Because last time... giant orb ran into me. I was trying to actually attack the giant orb, but it just ran into me instead. Well. We have unlocked Celeste's mask. We'll take a look at it here at the end. Gain increased jump height and plus one air jump. Your natural fall speed is slower. When you slay enemies in the air, refresh your air jumps and gain plus 30%. That is super trippy. I think it'd be good with these though. Because these are really good aerial weapons. This has been Spirits Abyss, and I've been Arima. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that various stuff, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.